One thing I've learned about having studied Russian history is that the Russians definitely like their strong men. I mean, the history of Russia is suffused with uh, one strong man replacing another. Yeah, they've had gaps in between where you've had weaker rulers, but there's this seems to be this natural tendency of the Russians to gravitate towards some strong, despotic, autocratic leader. Let's let's take a look. In in the early history of Russia, going back into the Middle Ages, you had guys like. Uh, Alexander Nevsky, uh, the Boris Gudunov, but the first real, true autocrat despot was uh, Ivan the Terrible. And besides the fact that he actually set up some of the institutions in in Russia, uh, he's also the man who's credited with founding the secret police. The first secret police that existed in Russia was formed during the reign of uh, Ivan the Terrible. So this is going back for 400 years ago. So uh, um, this autocratic strain and this ability to, to govern and um, control the population is, is definitely a, an impulse which has existed in Russian politics and the Russian political sphere for, for centuries. Uh, Peter the Great, who was the next great Russian despot, um, of course he came a bit later in time, uh, was exactly the same. He modernized the country, he westernized the country, he built it up military and, uh, and, on, a, and on a technical level. But he also was a, a, a autocrat who ran the country with the uh, iron fist and uh, failed to tolerate any opposition to himself. Another great autocrat in the, uh, was Catherine the Great, that exactly the same thing, she suppressed the peasants' revolution, suppressed revolutions or insurrections by uh, other nobles, and ran the country uh, very, very uh, stringently uh, with herself as, uh, as the center of power. Um, the same was true of later Russian czars, Alexander I, who uh, had the wherewithal to defeat Napoleon in 1812, but who essentially was an autocrat. Alexander II, um, who actually liberated or emancipated the serfs, although he himself too well, was very much a strong man, despot, uh, as was his predecessor, uh, Nicholas I, and his successor, Alexander III, all of them. All, each one of those individuals were strong, uh, powerful despots. Um, who gave the country uh, some type of security by ruling with uh, a power dynamic that suppressed all opposition, and that continued until uh, Tsar, that continued until Tsar Nicholas II, who even to his last days was was pretty much unwilling to share any power. And if you thought it ended with the Romanovs and with the Tsars, that was not the case. After the uh, the fall of the Tsar. You had a brief period under Kerensky, but then you had the part of the Bolsheviks taking over. Lenin, Stalin, um, both both of them were very much autocrats. Both of them were strong men. Uh, Stalin, of course, was more of the Lenin. Sorry, was was more of the intellectual than Stalin, but uh, Stalin was the man who um, pretty much revolutionized the country with his five-year plans. But he did it on a very very uh, hard man type of approach continuing this great tradition of Russian hardmen. And it continued, and not just with, with Stalin, but it went on with uh, Khrushchev, it went to um, uh, uh, Brezhnev, and after Brezhnev you had Andropov and uh, Chenenko, and even Gorbachev himself were essentially strong men, going all the way to the end. Yeltsin tried to play the same game as well, but he got hi hijacked by his health and, um, and to some extent by his buffoonery. And uh, now the latest incarnation of the hard man is Vladimir Putin. But uh, that's what it seems like. There have been periods in Russian history where they've, they've, they've had a little bit of a gap or a little bit of an absence from the, hard, from the, from the tough guy or the strong man. But there's this tendency, um, this very, very strong drive within, within Russia itself to eventually uh, favor the, the tough guy who uh, brings the country under its heel and uh, takes it in the direction which, uh, which he wants to, and the people seem to like it. Um, it seems to be something that is almost uh, endemic to the Russian character.